as Sheila Jackson, also known as Sheila Pond. Um, I was Donovan's fiance. Um, he was my boyfriend since the eighth grade. Um, today was justice served for Donovan. We've waited for this for more than 20, well, 27 years. Uh, 27 years, almost too long. Donovan firmly believed in the death penalty and I am very happy that this has taken place. Um, Donovan really believed in eye for an eye and in matter of fact, on March 8th, eerie as it sounds, he was discussing what would happen if something would happen to me or to him and discussed eye for an eye. He also uh, was worried about having arthritis when he was older and he never found out whether or not he had that. <laughs> um, Donovan loved to hunt and fish, uh, loved hunting geese, deer, uh, spending time with his family and playing practical jokes on anybody and everybody. Always willing to lend a helping hand um, there for you when you needed him. He was a great person and will be truly missed. Uh, even though Rhines has been executed, uh, this closes the books on Ryan's, but we will forever feel the pain and the emotions that Ryan's has caused us. It has affected more people than Ryan's would ever imagine. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ed Schaefer, Art of Donovan's father. And I would like to uh, mention a few of the people that have been with us and the whole program here all the way through. Um, I apologize to those that I'm not going to mention because I can't remember everybody. <clears throat> but first off, I would like, uh, like to thank Bruce Herbold, who was our minister, who showed up uh, within 30 minutes after the phone call I gave him uh, on March 8th and has been with us uh, in spirit and everything <coughs> since. I'd um, like to uh, mention Steve Allender, Chris Grant, um, and the Rapid City Police Department for all of their uh, efforts in um, getting Rhines. Uh, Mike Jacobs, who was uh, the coroner uh, for everything that he did to ease our pain. Uh, Dennis Groff, Mark Vargo, Jay Miller for the prosecuting attorneys for Pennington County. Um, we asked that they do it and do it right so we never had to go back through their program again. So they did a great job. <coughs> Mark Barnett, Larry Long, uh, Monty, Marty Jackley, and of course, um, Jason, for the attorney generals that have been behind us and all the support that they have given us. Sherry Sundenwald and Paul Swedland from Rapid City, or from the South Dakota Attorney General's Office for all of the hard work and leadership that they have put forth in getting this uh, program taken care of. Um, also, Craig Eichstead was in on that. Uh, I just wanted to thank those people, plus everybody else that has been behind us, and just thank you for everything that you've done and the support from the community and the family that have gotten us through this program and all that. Thank you. Oh, this ought to be good. These 
two young people are my sons. The older one is Stephen, and the youngest one was Donovan. And this is our son Donovan. This is his graduation picture. He was taken from us at 22 years, two months, and 15 days is as long as he lived. And we were so blessed to have this young man in our family and in our life. Today is a big day a day marked with sadness and grief, but also relief and justice. But above all, today is a day we talk about Donovan, the boy who loved his family, fiance and friends, the roller hockey champion, the state archery champion, the guy who drove that old red pickup. We talked about Donovan, the boy with a goofy, contagious laugh, the guy who would give you the shirt off of his back and go out of his way if he knew he might be able to help you out. Man, don't get stuck in a snowbank. Don Rill will be right there with his big old red truck. The man who touched many lives without even knowing it. Today, do something kind for someone in honor because life is just too short and this world needs more love and kindness. Remember him today. Talk about Donovan. He is missed and he is loved and he will never be forgotten. Our son would have been a great asset to society. When they, when they called to... Uh, have this family do a background check. I wanted to know what they were looking for. Probably my speeding ticket in a 30 mile an hour zone, and I was doing 35 about 25 years ago, maybe. And there is nothing, there was nothing that, that anybody could find that he had ever, uh, been involved with or been accused of. We will miss him and we have missed him. We've missed him so long and yet he has given us so much, so much strength and good and if each one can just live a little bit of that strength and goodness instead of being uh, on the other end of that stick. This would be a much better world. Thank you. My name is Mark Bargo. I am presently the Pennington County State's Attorney and was one of the prosecutors who worked on the Ryan's case in 1993. But tonight I want to focus not on what we prosecuted because all of you can see that and know it from the record. I want to tell you something that you don't know. Maybe you just got a, a picture of it or a glimpse of it uh, listening to Ed and Peggy. I was next to these people when this was terribly raw, and I've been next to them off and on 26 years now. And in all that time, they have borne this tragedy and this loss with a grace that is simply inspiring. I watched when the wound of having one of the lights of their life ripped from them was still very fresh. I have watched as at various steps 
they've been put through hoops that, are, that have nothing to do with protecting the integrity of the process or ensuring justice, but are just mechanisms of delay and obfuscation. And at every step of the way, their focus has been on Donovan and on seeking a just result without hatred, no matter how much it might have been called for, without anger, no matter how justified it would have been. And I'm glad to be able to stand here today with them and to recognize their strength in following this path. Good evening. My name is uh, Dennis Karoff. Uh, a long time ago, when I was 40 years old approximately, as the state's attorney in Pennington County, I was given the responsibility and the privilege to be the lead prosecutor on this case. And that's all I want to say about me. As you probably noticed, um, you're not hearing very much about why we were here tonight and the person who was executed. You're hearing about Donovan Schaefer. And over these years, 26, 27 years, um, a lot of thoughts have gone through our mind. But I want to I take you to a different direction, which may take you somewhere in the future. If you were on this case, if you were on the prosecution team, from the day we discovered with law enforcement what happened, there was, a, there was a sadness for a young man who, doing what he needed to do, came upon something that should have never happened to him. And I've thought so much about those final moments for Donovan. I can't even put myself there. I've thought about what he must have thought about his parents and who could help him. And would he live? How would he be found? Questions I can never answer. But I offer you tonight one question with one very important answer for our communities, not just in Rapid City, but here. I submit to you, if Donovan would have asked the question, who will come for me? I do know that answer. I know that for the months following his passing, that the legal community, the sheriff's office, the police department worked very hard to put this case together. I know they did an excellent job and they passed it along to our office. I'll give you the names once again. Myself, Dennis Groff, we just heard from Mark Vargo, and another excellent prosecutor named Jay Miller. We took this not just seriously but to heart. So we did our job. But you know, our job ended roughly in 1993, and here we are, 2019. So once again, the case was passed along to people equally dedicated and caring. And I'm talking about Paul Swedland, Craig Eichstedt, Sherry Sundenwald. Those are the people at the Attorney General's office. These are no light tasks, and the people I've mentioned dedicated their life to this. And ultimately, through all these years and all these appeals, we've come to this night. A night that, as it happened, ended rather quickly and peacefully. But I say to you this, of all the people that I've mentioned, the people that mattered the most, and will always matter, will be the parents of Donovan Schaefer, who have carried this burden for so long the love for their son, their love for one another, to finally get to this day. I said I was much younger when this began. So were they. But they've waited for this day, and for those of us that care about them, we wanted them to reach this day. For mortality takes us all. So I say to that question, who will come for me? Donovan, a lot of people came for you and for your family. And your family today 
is finishing something you perhaps wanted that night. Justice you could never have in that moment, but justice we have today. Thank you.